Hi guys! Hi, 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 hi! Hopefully my music is going, you guys can hear it. But hi! So, today, I'm just going to be trying to... Hold on, let me figure out. Right here? I think that's good. Yeah. So, today I'm going to be working on this comic page. Um, and I think I have about an hour or so to be able to work on this because I have to got other stuff I got to do later so I can only dedicate like an hour of drawing time today but hi 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 let's see oh let me get my stream going on my phone so I can at least keep an eye on stuff and then that way if I get any strange comments this time I'll be able to just go up in there and just hide them because before I didn't and then oh you put that there there we go hi canvas hello zero two zero canvas hi Petrie hi Dacia hi if I said your names wrong I'm sorry it's not on purpose okay cool 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 all messages on chat are visible hmm and I have my daughter here too. If you're wondering, like, what what is she looking at? That's cute, baby. Glad you have. She's playing around with Cam Cut. She's gonna be my little editor when I get when she gets a little bit older. But okay, let's get started. Today it's just I'm working on this page for my super secret project that I can't talk about just yet. But hopefully I'll be able. To... Huh? Huh? Well, it is still super secret because they don't know all of it. They don't know all of it. They just don't even know a little bit of it. Mm. Canvas, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> yes, zoom in. If you're wondering what canvas size I'm working on for this comic page, um, my canvas size actually changes a lot. So, let me know. <laughs> Petrie, someone said, hi, Mrs. Daughter. <laughs> You gonna say, can you say hi back? Hi. <laughs> she says hi. I don't know if you can see her. I have the, there you go. Hi. She got her hair done. Hey, Percy. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to make sure my mic. I think this is good. I think this is good. But um, the canvas size that I like to do when I'm drawing my comics, for posting online onto like, when I'm posting online, I will shrink the canvas size down. But when I'm just like drawing, drawing, um, it will change. So for this story, I actually have it. The canvas size, let me just show you. Instead of trying to remember off the top of my head, change canvas size. And I'll change it to inches. For this canvas, it's very big. It's a 10 by 14. So imagine 11 by 17 paper. Just like cut off a couple inches and it's 10 by 14. <laughs> Why am I drawn in such a large size? I might need it for something big one of these days. Like, what if I want to take a panel out and I want to put it on a sweater? And this sweater is like... Or like a blanket. Exactly. So, I just... That's just me. But other people, you isn't, this is not like, you must draw in this size. No. She's just doing the most over here. She being me. So cute. The hair is looking on the both of you. Thank you, Butchery. Thank you. We recently got her hair done. And I just have my hair under a wig. Because <laughs> I'm too tired to do my hair. I need to detangle it though later on today. But, you know, we'll worry about that later. Right now, we're going to draw comics. We're going to have fun just drawing comics. But, yeah, so the canvas size that I do just depends on what I what size I want to print in. If I want to print in a book that looks like... So, for this book, I just measured what a, the, what the typical size of a manga is. I just kind of measured it and you see it kind of it matches <laughs> so that, that's all I did so I was like oh I want it to be this size so I just measured it and then I got I think it was like a five by six I believe right exactly so I just measured it and that's how I got like that's how I figure out what canvas size I want to draw in for whichever canvas series I want to work on 
And then with um, Amazon KDP, I just look at what their trim sizes that they accept are. And I try to find the one that's as close to what I measured is. And I just go from there. I like to draw in bigger canvas sizes because I can save in a smaller canvas size. So when I upload it on like line or what or whatnot, I don't have it like uploaded at the five inches by six inches size. I might have it uploaded by like 800 pixels by 1,280 pixels. <laughs> it all depends. It all depends. So when I'm uploading online, it gets a smaller resolution size. Why? Because I don't want them to have the larger size. Why? Because well, it loads really long. And then that just has it to where the high resolution is just available for anybody to use and to print on. So I just upload in a smaller size and a lower resolution because it helps with the internet speed to upload. Yes, yes, yes. You just, you, I know you guys didn't ask, but I wanted to talk about that. And I'm waiting for a couple more to show up because... I saw on my YouTube comments that people were asking a couple of questions about like, how do you color in the lines? I guess I'll go ahead and show that. Um, who was it that? I think Chocolate. I think Anonymous Chocolate had asked like, how do I color in the lines? So say I have lines right here. Let me hide this layer. Here are my lines. There's a lot of different ways that you can color in lines. Here's how I do it. I make a new layer. I can make a new layer either going here, new layer, raster layer, or new layer right here, raster layer, however you say it, raster, raster, or I go here and I click new layer. And then what I like to do, I can either clip it, pick a color. Now, some issues that people have had, they're like, hey, how do I color in, in Clip Studio Paint? Look. It's not showing, it's black and white. Why is it not showing a color? I have a color over here. Well, when you go over here to expression color and you click color and then you do it. There you go. That's how the colors show up. I know that's a hiccup that I've had before. I'm like, why are the colors not showing up? Your expression color thingamabob might be set to monochrome or gray. So go ahead and switch that to color so you can get your colors. And then I clip it. I just, I press that button right here. Let me hover over it. Are you going to show it? It's not going to. Well, any hoodles, you go right here and you can, I don't know. But I click this button right here. I definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I click that right there. And then what this does, it clips to my lines. It's just, it, it just, it clips to where, ooh, that was a lag. It just, see, it just clips there. And I'm going to unclip it real quick. Hmm? Someone is? Selena Hill. Oh, Selena. Hi, Selena. Hi, Selena. <laughs> I'm looking forward uh, to getting a digital pen for digital art. I want to see how different it is from traditional drawing. Yeah, it's really interesting. When I first started learning how to draw digitally, it's very, very interesting. When I know. I first, for me, oh. I thought like people would um, use their like pens and pencils until. Um... Can you hear? Until, like, um, my mom showed me about the digital, and then I was like, uh, and then I was like very surprised on how they they do that kind of thing. So, with pens and paper instead of with pencils and paper, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what my daughter, she's getting into digital art. She still doesn't really feel very comfortable with it, which is fine. I, I tell her, you know, do whatever you're comfortable with. But she um, is starting to see, like, I know with traditional art, um, you know how when we do layers, if we're watercoloring, trying to learn what layers are in digital art can kind of be like, wait a second, why isn't this working? And then also trying to get used to how different brushes have a lighter O capacity, like how, how to like blend colors, force an O capacity, not O capacity, but force a sheerness over the colors to blend colors. I know that can be like an adjustment too. So that's why I'm trying to remember, you just see me scratching my armpit. I'm trying to remember to share different like process videos on that, but there's lots of different ways to do different things with this program and also different it's programs. Very hard, very hard, but I think you love it. 
Oh, she's talking to Patrice. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, so it's an adjustment. It's it's a unique adjustment. It's just like learning any other art, new art medium. But no worries. That's why we have YouTubes where we share our processes. So other people can see, oh, there's another way to do this. Let's try that out. Because like, like I like to say, there's more than one way to make art. There's not one size fits all. There's lots of different ways. That's the beauty of art. You can create it however way you want. <laughs> we don't have a curriculum we got to answer to or a quiz or a test we got to take. <laughs> so we could do what we want. But yeah, that's how I colored in lines. I make a clipping layer. I make a new layer. I forgot I was saying that. I clip it, make sure the layer set the color, and I select the color, and that's how I can just color those lines in. And then there's another way that you can do this as well. Let me delete this. Another way that you could just color in your lines, if you, what was it, is it lock this layer? There was a feature, I can't remember what it was. Is it this? No, it's not that. Was it, hold on, hold on, I'm smart, I'm smart. Ah, so say you did your lines on a raster layer. Here's my lines. It's on this raster layer. You can also lock the transparency pixels, whatever that means. <laughs> you can click that. And now, let me make sure it's on color. Now, anything that you color within it is only going to be on whatever has been colored on it. Does that make sense? Look, see, I can't color anywhere else in this picture. It's specifically locked to that. And that's with the raster layer. See? It's not locked. I lock it. Now it is locked. But now, see, I could draw in these lines now. It locks to whatever's already been drawn on that layer. I don't know, like, the technical term to it, but, yep, just wanted to throw that in there. Just in case someone was wondering, how do you color in your lines? That's how I cut. Queenie. Oh, oh, my God, my daughter's about to give me a heart attack. Oh, oh, I'm going to throw up. up. Ugh. <laughs> Hi June. Ugh. No, you're fine. I'm so sick. No, you're fine. My anxiety. No, it's fine. You just you just stay over there, honey. Oh, mommy's gonna throw up. <laughs> your daughter your daughter brought up some good points too. Thank you, Patrice. She's trying to help. <laughs> She's trying to help with my streaming. <sighs> No, it's fine, honey. Mommy's, it's not your fault mommy's anxious. It's mommy's trauma. No, it's okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But June, hello. What's up, y'all? We're just drawling. We're drawling and getting scared by our children. <laughs> Let me stop picking on her. Okay. Oh, I just learned something new. I know, it was really cool, isn't it? I had no idea what that lock thing was for. Yep, there's lots of different, like, bells and whistles. I only learn them because I'm like, oh, I'm watching someone else doing something, and then they end up doing a technique. I'm like, oh, I'm going to start doing that. It looks kind of convenient. That's why I like watching, like, live streams, because I just like seeing other people draw. It's fun to see other processes. That's why I say one size isn't doesn't fit all. So it's okay if you have a different process than others. Just draw. Have fun, create. You know, create. <laughs> June, hey. <laughs> okay, let's do this and this and this. Did you guys see the page that I was working on? Let me sh let me show you. Let me show you because I don't think I showed you the page I'm working on. So this is the page for the super secret project. I really hope it goes well. I really do. But you know what? We're going to claim it. As if it is already ours, you know? But this is the page that I'm working on. It's Jayhan and Oriana. And Oriana complaining. I'm, I, it's for this pitch. And the story's kind of changed just a little bit. But it's still the same character, same situation to a certain degree. It's just... I'll just explain it more after I get the green light or the red light. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. 
Okay, let's lower it back down and let's zoom all the way back in. You guys are getting dizzy from all this zooming and saying. Those are my work notifications. They have given me trauma, especially on Thursday. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's loud noises for me. Especially if, if it's like out of nowhere. Then it makes me want to just like pass out. So my husband has to like kind of knock on the wall or something. When he's coming into the room to let me know he's, he's, he's in there. <laughs> and I know it's like... For other people, they might not. Like that seems excessive. Like, well, it is for me. I I am a rabbit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> I love her eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, my daughter says that's the expression you had, Mom. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this over here. And we're just going to just scribble. This is how I draw curly hair. I use scribbles. C's, S's, and bubbles. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. Brain empty, scribble, scribble, scribbles. Another way that I like to, like, figure out different, like, curly hairstyles is I'll look for a straight hairstyle and then I will just turn it curly <laughs> you know like when you have bangs let me just yeah if she has bangs here ah smile hair like that you know she has bangs what I would do I just what I just do when did that happen? I just go in and I just curlify it. And it's like, hey, that's how I can get it. Because, you know, sometimes I get stuck on, like, the same hairstyle. But I'm like, man, I wanted the, the hairstyles to look kind of cute. Like how, not kind of cute, but a different variety. Like how the, the straight hairs have, like, different varieties and, and mangas and stuff. So I'm like, oh, sure, let's just use the straight hair as an outline. And bing, bing, boom. We got another curly hair style. Look, curly hair bob. <laughs> curly bob. And there's lots of different ways. Like, I could I could have just looked at a reference one, but I'm like, I want to do this instead. I like this process. So everybody has a different process. Are you combining the original story and the new story? So it is kind of like that. I took out the, um... So the editor that I was talking to, she had, um... We kind of went back and forth on the, um like story idea with it you know being like the narrative of it being on a tv show we kind of like went a different path with that we are still keeping like the marriage trope kind of thing but instead of it being like tv show related we're having it to where oriana's trying to move out because she lives at home with grandpa she's in her 30s i'm gonna have her be 33 why because i can but she lives at home with Grampy, with her Grampy and her cousins and her aunt. So, you know, Krista, Ducky, and then I don't know what the young little cousin's name is. I don't have a name for her. And then, you know, Krista's mom, her aunt. She lives at home with all of them, and Grampy doesn't allow people to move out unless they are either married or married. Because he, Grampy believes, for this story, Grampy's like, no, it's dangerous to live on your own. What if you get attacked? What, what if something happens to you? No, stay at home until you get married and then that's when you can move out. So Oriana's not allowed to move out unless she can get married. Oriana doesn't want to get married. Oriana's not about that. She's just, she doesn't, she's not interested in relationships. So that's how like Catchy Find Me Love Me kind of carries over into it. Um, and so I have it to where like Jaehan, he's like, hey, I have it to where he's been her childhood best friend. So he's like, you could just move in with me. We could be roommates until you get, you know, on your feet. And then that's when, you know, for this page, because I have to do a five pages to pitch the story. So that's why with this page, she's like, Grampy would never allow that. And you know, I'm not allowed to move out unless I'm married. And <laughs> she's like, I only am married. So he's just like, you're, you're in your 30s. You still have a curfew. Maybe it's time to have a sit down conversation with your family. And she's like, or, and then that's when, I'm just going to show you right here. That's what this page is. 
Let me just put the words there. This is for the pitch, so don't worry. It's no spoilers or anything because we don't know if it's going to get approved or not. But yeah, so that's when she's like, or he's like, no, I'm not lying to your 80-year-old grandfather, you know. Yeah, I have to like finish adding the dialogue right here, but like Jay Han shoving an orange in her mouth in her mouth. It's like, no, I'm not lying to your eight year old grandfather and pretending like we're a married couple just so that you can get out the house. I have to add that right here. But yeah, so that's what this is. So that's kind of what the pitch of the story is, the five pages. So I'm hoping that, you know, their team will be like, Yeah, we wanna do that story. We think that story will sell and then, you know, sign me on for a three volume book. If it doesn't work, it's fine. If it does, it's also fine. It's also, also very awesome if it does work. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, I'm liking this idea. You see, it's, I think it's fun and it still encompasses like the chaoticness of Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. You know? Love, Love, Fighting, that was kind of like my get out all of my feelings kind of darker drama story. And this one's going to have, like, the marriage trope. You got RJ at Oriana's work that's going to be trying to hit on her. And she's like, get out of my face. I'm not interested. Then you got Jayhan who's pretending to be her husband, even though he's n not happy with lying. But he secretly has a crush on her. So he kind of easily gets into the, well, I guess I'll go ahead and pretend to be your husband kind of thing. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I always enjoy seeing these kind of strains myself. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Kitsun. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> chocolate! Hey, chocolate, I saw your comment. Did you see the Did you see the part of the stream where I showed, like, how you could... What'd you say, baby? Yeah, yeah you like the name? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice name. But, Chocolate, did you see where I showed how to color in the lines? Did you want me to show you how, to, how I color in my lines? I could show it to you again if you like. I don't know if you've seen it. But I did it. I saw your comment, I remember, and I, I did it. So yay, I did it. But yeah, so that one, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It took me a very long time to finally figure all of that out. But I figured it out. I wrote it up in a pitch. And now I'm hoping that I can, I'm hoping I do the letters correctly. <laughs> not correctly. I hope I get the letters to where it's like my words, not letters. Dear Lord, I hope I get my words good enough to where the story connects with the higher ups and they're like, yeah, let's do that. And again, if it doesn't, I can just use this whole plot and just put it in for um, season two season two of Catchy Find Me Love Me. So nonetheless, the stories can get told. Depends on just, you know, if I'm going to do it or if they're going to do it. Not them going to do it, but if I'm going to publish it on my own or going to publish it you know there's no door that can stop me from creating the story I want to create because I know now how to access that door and I enjoy that you know I'm no longer stuck behind oh man this company didn't accept it well I could still publish it and get it in bookstores right next to the books that they are publishing you know so I'm okay their no does not mean an indefinite no their no just means no not with us and that's that's okay why? Because I found a way to still get it out there nonetheless. And that's what I love about, about like, Ingram Spark and... Because it opens up the doors to where I can still access those larger big book distributors. And yeah, I still have to put in the footwork. I mean, traditional artists still, authors still have to put in the footwork of marketing their stuff, but... You know, like, the whole, like, editor and, and whatnot that kind of all falls on me, which is fine, since I'm used to it, but I'm still happy that I can still get my books in front of other people, you know, without needing to get the approval of anyone. It's awesome. And that's why I like to share also, just for someone else who might not know, and it's like, hey, just in case you want to know, because why? Because I like sharing information, because I'm nosy myself. How'd you do that? you going to tell, how'd you do that, you know? And if there's other people who are nosy like me, I like to let them know, well, this is how I did this. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know? Patrice eats popcorn. This sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it the first time. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to show you how I like to color in lines. So, here's my line layer. I like to make a new layer. And I use this button right here. 
click to layer below. I click that. I make sure this is set to color because <laughs> sometimes I forget that. And then I pick my color and then watch this, watch this. I'm going to go to marker so you can see it bigger. Watch this, watch this. You watching? Boom. That's how I color in my lines. You see? I use a clipping mask. And then I can take the clipping mask off. That's how it looks without the clipping mask. This is how it looks with the clipping mask. Super easy. That's how I color in my lines. There's lots of other different ways to do it. But that's how I like to do it. I hope that helps, chocolate. I hope that helps. I just got here. <laughs> but if this stream is saved, I can go back and watch it. Nope, I just showed you. You have to go back and watch it. I already showed you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think it. you should be able to. You already have my money. <laughs> I'm just patiently waiting for the product to drop. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. I'll have it free to read online so you guys got, so you guys can save your monies for paying your bills. Because I know what it was like wanting to read certain stories that I thought were really interesting but not having the money to be able to afford those said stories. So that's why it's like, I want to provide them free to read online. And then if you want, you can have the option to have like the physical copy. But you don't have to worry about it being stuck behind a paywall because it's all free to read online now if this company does end up picking up the book i don't know if they'll have that option they should should they i don't know if they'll do that option with my books how i'm like with my platform i'm able to still have it online free to read on different like you know publishing platforms i don't really have to worry about oh i don't really have to worry about a company being like no we're having it behind a paywall you know I get to choose whether I want it behind a paywall or not. And for me, I'm like, I don't want it behind a paywall. But if it gets approved into their company, I'm not sure if they will be like, no, you can't have it on other platforms. It needs to be behind a paywall. This is still a businesswoman. It's like, I know, but you know, it's different than what I was doing. So it's like, we'll see. We'll see. I can't start thinking of that, all that when I haven't even gotten past the first level yet. Hi, Roni! Woo, I'm glad I can make it to the stream. Hi, Roni. <laughs> Chocolate, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I just had a memory. You used to have an online game at once. Yeah, it's called A Troll's Fairy Tale. I want to do another Otomo game one of these days. I love Otomo games. I still love Otomo games. But yep, it's called A Troll's Fairy Tale. Let me see if I can pull up the artwork for that. It's like I know I'm, this this stream was me drawing, but let me let me see if I can pull up the artwork for that. Let's go over here. I'm gonna stare awkwardly at you guys as I stare at my desktop screen. <laughs> Let's see. Um, maybe I should type it in. Let's type that in. Trolls. Is this it? Is that it? Let's see. I'm not glaring at you guys. I'm glaring at my my computer. What is this? No, that's not it. What is this? No, that's not it. What is this? No. What is this? No. What about this? No. Um. Huh. What if I go here? What's in here? Hmm. I'm not glaring at you guys, I promise. What is it? Nope. No. No. What are you? No. No. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna... F well, it's zip. No wonder. Shereen, you dumb dumb. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find it online. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look online. Let's see. What does this button do? What does that do? Okay, that's my YouTube. So let's pull up a new window. Let's type in a trolls <laughs> fairy ta fairy tale. Okay, here it is. It's on my other website. Is that it? I have multiple websites. I know, mommy is a woman of many hats. <laughs> a trolls a tomo game. Here it is. No, of course not. But here it is. It's a Trolls fairy tale. 
This is Edvine, or however you say his name. Edvine, Edvine. I have what well, I did changes, just like my own name. This is Damien. His name also changes because sometimes I get the A and the E and the N and the E mixed up. But his name's Damien, and this is Aaron. He's the bad ending. I did not. A lot of people still liked him. I didn't really like him, but I get it. <laughs> and then this is Damien's mother, the unicorn queen. I know he doesn't look like a unicorn prince. But he's my unicorn prince. And what unicorn prince do you know that you can base him off of? Well, he should have a horn. This unicorn doesn't have a horn. I had a deal with people being like, that's not a unicorn. Have you seen a unicorn? No, you seen a rhinoceros. He is a unicorn. He looks exactly like a unicorn. And then I have people being like, Edwin's not a fairy. He is a fairy. They're like, he don't look like no fairy. Yes, he do. What fairy do you, have you been looking at? Because the fairies I've seen look exactly like him. <laughs> He look exactly like him. He got the ears. He got the vines. He's a fairy. He is a fairy. I've seen it with my own two eyes. It's like... <laughs> but to all jokes aside, this is my fairy. My fairy Edvin. My unicorn prince Damien. My angry troll. My petty... Petty, just gaslighting troll Aaron. And then my mama troll. Who Rhinos she... are unicorns. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> exactly, chocolate, exactly, my daughter. <laughs> June, if I ever get good enough to read and write in Korean, I'm totally translating Shireen's comics, and she can't stop me. Well, she can. Yeah, exactly, exactly, I could, I could. But she can, but I will translate from my... <laughs> That's like the people who did, um, when I shared A Whisper of Cinnamon, my webtoon, um, that I'm still working on, it's okay, it's, it's going good, it's going good. I haven't changed the story yet too much. <laughs> But some people were like, you can't stop us from making our own fan fiction of it. I'm like, I mean, yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I told them it's a wholesome story. And they're like, um, okay, okay. And I'm like, okay, you, really, guys, the air quotes, really? I'm like, we're just saying, you can make the story. And we can make fan fiction. And it's like, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Put that back. <laughs> but yeah. But it was fun. I did a Trolls Fairy Tale for the uh, Nano Reno. I think that's going on this month. The one month, 30 day challenge to make a web, a visual novel in 30 days. That's what I did a Trolls Fairy Tale in. And I remember when I finished, I was about, just about passed out from sleep the de depravity and depravity is out of work. And, and just tiredness because I had to write the story. I had to come up with the story, write the story, draw the story. Um, do the backgrounds, find the music, code everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was it was it was still fun. I still had fun with that challenge. It's just you know I have a lot going on right now, so it's like I'm not I'm, I I I need to like distribute the time in a certain way to be able to do that again. But it was fun. It was very much so fun, and it helped me to like focus on just writing a short story. Because sometimes when I write stories, I get so caught up with, oh, it needs to have a turning point. Oh, it needs to have a climax to where I start putting in stuff to my story that doesn't necessarily need to be in there because that's not what I had in mind. I had a totally different idea in mind, but because I'm trying to fill in the blanks or fill out the checkbook of what a quote-unquote good story is told by other people, that I just lose what is my story, you know. And I still struggle a lot with that, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better, I think. We're just going to say I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I love you and your daughter's banter slash relationship. It's so cute. Thank you. Thank she's you. my mini-me. She's definitely my mini-me. <laughs> my mom gets up and she's like, you can't complain about nothing that girl does because she's you. I'm like, I know. I know I made a little monster. She's my little monster. But just like you be complaining about us, I could do the same thing. She keeps drinking my juice. My like I told my mom. I, <laughs> let me tell y'all a story what had happened. I had went to go see my great grandmama and it was I had some birthday cake in a little package. And so my husband video call sends me a video. And you wanna know what the video was? It's of my son and my daughter crying their little heads off. You wanna know why they were crying? Because they got caught why? eating my cake. This. They got caught eating no. my cake. 
And they were just crying. Cake smeared all over their faces. <laughs> and because they got caught eating the cake. You see? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I you you're right you're right. It was just your it was just her brother wink wink that was eating the cake. It was just it was it was yes, just it. your brother exactly. It was not it was not Queen Bear. It was exactly. I'm sorry, mommy forgot the whole story. It was just her brother mm. and miss and Mrs. Nobody eating <laughs> the cake with him. There's you know the cake with him. exactly. Her brother and Mrs. Nobody was eating the cake. Oh, they so got Mrs. caught. Nobody. Yeah. They got caught, <laughs> and he sends me a video of them just bawling their eyes out because they got caught eating my cake. <laughs> yeah, exactly what half it was. Exactly. <laughs> oh, speaking of, honey boo, tell your mother to scroll up a bit in the in the comments. I insulted her character in his mullet. Hold up, what? <laughs> Which character? Hold on a second. Let me see this. I'm scrolling up. <gasps> June, you little sneaky. You know what? I love Jehan. No matter what <laughs> incarnation of him, will hold on to his mullet for dear life. He will. <laughs> he will. Let me show you. Let me show you. Because it's based off of TVXQ's, uh, you know? Yep, it's based off of you know's mullet. But Jehan, he's holding on to that. He put up in a ponytail, and they chilling at his house. <laughs> he got his hair up in a ponytail. And Oriana got her hair clipped back up, and she's wearing her, her sweater and her bejeebers. But they're chilling at his house. <laughs> and he's like, well, you just move in with me. You're an adult. And then you can just get your own place. But, you know, he got to see your crush on her. So that's why he's like, yeah, of course. Move in, move in with me. Just try to stay as long as you want. <laughs> her brother smeared and That's what happened. Her brother smeared it on her face. But she, you did. My mom. Bye. She... Yeah, oh, you're going with that story now, Queen Bear, that your brother smeared it on your face? Yeah. Oh, oh I see. Her brother's not here to defend himself. <laughs> Cake thieves. Exactly. So my mom was definitely like, you can't say nothing, because remember when you was sneaky kid ice cream? I'm like, look, Mommy, you got to understand. This is happening to me now. <laughs> I'm the one who's now having to suffer with the consequences of my actions. And it is not fair. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's interesting. But I get it. I get it. My mother is correct. But I'm not going to tell her just yet. I'm she not, I. Be watching. No, my mommy, she's, she's probably busy at church. She's always at the church. You know how my mom is. But, yeah. My sister's dating my mom. Then I'll be watching or reading my... Well, my sister, Shay Shay, will watch my stuff. And my other sisters. My other sister doesn't. And my mom, she's just too busy. They're just like, oh, Strange is doing her anime thing again. I'm like, why do you guys... <laughs> why do you guys do that? That's just that Sailor Moon stuff. It's like, okay. At least you guys know the name to a certain degree. <laughs> but it's a comic, you guys. I'm, I'm doing my comic. <laughs> It was really Miss Nobody. She framed them both. <laughs> exactly, because now Miss Nobody, Mr. Nobody lives here. So now I just stopped asking questions to a certain degree, and I'm just like, okay, what happened? I don't know. Okay, so that's not how I'm going to get the answer. Who did it? I don't know. Well, they're easy to blame each other on who did it, and then that's how I can jump to the next question. Okay, you did this? No, but they said you did this. Well, actually, I did this. Ah, we got a little bit more. We are doing Sherlock Holmes up in here. And eventually I come and I find the truth. But it's fine. They're good kids. Rather this than them stealing money, you know. I can always bake more cake. Making more money. That's the tricky part. These, they expensive. But I'm going to get there. Yes, baby. I make more cake. I make more cake for my little cake gremlins. And I say gremlins in an endearing cute way. <laughs> Kiori, hi! It's my favorite pretty artist. It's my favorite pretty commenter. Com commenter. <laughs> Thank you. Food is one of my love languages. Mine's too. Mine's too. There's a poem called Mr. Nobody. Oh, I had to read that. I had to read that after the stream. I had to read that. So I'm sure. I'm sure it is funny. <laughs> just Mr. Nobody just be living up in everybody's houses. Continues on through generations after generations after generation. Everybody knows Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody. Everybody knows him. You don't know Mr. Nobody? My sisters are just... 
don't know why they, they, it's just interesting. They text me exactly when I'm streaming. And it's like, do y'all know I'm streaming? If y'all do, why aren't y'all saying nothing in my stream? They don't have to. It's not obligated. I don't like force obligated things. I just, ugh, I don't like force obligation. You know, like those forced pleasantries where they're like, oh, well, I was just being nice. Don't do that. If you don't want to say hi, don't say hi. <laughs> don't do that. I, I'd much rather prefer you doing whatever you feel like doing. And if you don't feel like saying hi, don't say hi. <laughs> Please don't force pleasantries with me. It just, it makes, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't, because then I'm, you know, someone's like, hey, how's your day been? I'm real legit thinking they want to know how my day's been. And then when I realize that they've been like, oh, man, that sucks, you know, after like the 10th time, it's like, you really didn't want to know how my day was. You were just giving me a, a simple pleasantry. Don't do that to me. For other people, you could do that for other people. But if you want to, like, if you're trying to, like, engage with me, forced obligations and simple pleasantries, it makes me cry. So you don't have to do that. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't want to be rude. No. Doing the other part feels rude to me, you know? But I get it. I get it. it. I think it's like an extrovert thing. I don't know. My sister very much so is like that. Like, she's the type who where, um, like, the children must acknowledge an adult that comes into the building. For me, I'm like, I might be thinking about a bunch of stuff. I might have a lot of stuff on my mind. I'm not going to acknowledge who comes into the building because I'm off in La La Land thinking about a Dragon Ball Z episode or some other anime scene. And then all of a sudden I got a, a, an adult yelling at me, why ain't you say hi when I walked up in the room? Cause I'm thinking about anime. <laughs> hi. <laughs> is that, is, do you need anything else from me? You need me to acknowledge your presence. I don't want to, I'm trying to disassociate, but that's me. But my sister, she's like, She's more like the old school type way to where she's like, no, these kids need to acknowledge when adults walk in the room. And I'm like, I don't, for my kids, I'm like, you ain't got to acknowledge nothing. You can sit here and disassociate right along with mommy, just staring at the wall. I will not feel any type of way because I know why you're doing it. You're not trying to be rude. You just disassociate. <laughs> and I'm going to be right there doing that too. But I get it. Not to, de not to devalue why that's important to her. But that's just not my vibe. Sim, just, I just, I say hi if you want to say hi. If you want to, like, conversate with me. Because I will talk. Oh, mom, like yes, baby. Where, yeah. Um, this lady was on the bus and she was yelling, is there any, um, huh? um gentlemen or nice, um, girls who would, um, who left their seat for her? She was yelling very loudly. Oh, she was she, yelling loudly? Yes, because no one would give up their seat. So ah. she was yelling. Do you think it, it makes, do you think yelling is a type of way that people, is a tactic people use to force other people to do what they want them to do? Yeah, it just makes it worse. It makes it worse when people yell? Yeah. Ah. What do you think she could have did? Um, I, I have no I have no clue either. That's interesting. Sometimes we get in life situations to where we're like, we're not sure what to do. But I know that right there, yelling at other people, that just doesn't feel good. You know? So that's interesting video. So my mommy likes to be in the house. There's too many situations out in life that's like, I don't know what to do in this situation, so let me just mind off, go into my mind palace. <laughs> he does all the mischief in the house. He surely does. My cat Galaxy is on the bed right now. <laughs> that's such a pretty name. That's such a pretty name. Yeah. He's chunky and doesn't know what he wants to do. He just <laughs> He's just observing. Oh, we have, like, this rabbit. Um, he, like, sneezed so many times. Yeah, he getting a little old. <laughs> Mr. Charleston getting a little old. And I'm like... Hmm? Oh, are you doing the little anime dance with her? Mm-hmm. That's really good. Thank you. Good job, baby. Good job. Let's see. Patrice, same. It takes me a moment to realize they were trying to be nice and ask, and then I feel silly for sharing. Right! It's like, oh, man. So I get it. That's why I'd much rather prefer to be around people who are like me. <laughs> who, when they ask me how my day is, they, they actually want to know, like, legit the details, you know? Not that other people don't want to know the details, but I get that. Like, that's just like, a, hey, hi. And it's like, hi. And then we just carry on, you know, go by the, hey, hi. And you just keep walking. Like, I get it. I'm learning social cues. I'm learning it. <laughs> 
The one downside to having a cat when they climb on you while you're laying down, they have no problem stepping all over your crotch, either on your crotch or they just like, I don't know if you had a cat like just jump on your chest and just knock the wind out of you. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> or else my cat was just chunky. But yeah, Shadow, he would do that. It's like, my God, Shadow. <laughs> my God. But yeah, cats, they don't be caring sometimes. I never understood that since parents also say don't talk to strangers. Exactly. It's like, say hi to them, but don't talk to strangers. It's like, okay, how am I supposed to know which stranger to say hi to and which stranger to talk to? And it's like, well, the ones who walk in the room, say hi to them. No, they're a stranger. But if they say hi to you, say hi back, but don't say hi to strangers. And it's like, I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. But it's fine. It's a, it's a very confusing learning process. Eventually, I figure out the social cues. So I'm just going to let my sister deal with that with her children. <laughs> and I'm just going to... Just tell my nephew. I don't know what to tell you, nephew. I'm sorry. That's that. You you you'll you'll figure it out. She's trying to teach you her her methods. You'll figure it out. That's your mommy. You'll figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> okay. I'll put that there. It's the wrinkles. Let's see. My parents, oh, those are your parents growing up too. <laughs> I get fussed at for acknowledging and get yelled at for talking to certain people. Exactly. Like, I'm like, what do you want me to do? Exactly. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> it's like, it, it's, it's, being a parent is interesting. It's very interesting. And it's interesting seeing my mom now, now that I'm a parent, even though, you know, I didn't, it's interesting seeing like, she was doing the best she could, not to justify anything, but I'm okay. She did the best she could with the knowledge that she had, you know? And then I look at the other parents or, that I grew up around, the other people's kids' parents, and I'm like, y'all was just as crazy as me as I am right now. I'm like, okay. As a kid, I thought they were like, ooh, all knowing. It's like, no, that's just another 20-year-old who don't know what she's doing. That's just another 30-year-old who's like, what? <laughs> don't know what they doing. I see now. So many more things are making sense. So yeah. So I've just like, I've learned to give grace and just instead of like repeating <clears throat> what, oh, because this happened in my childhood. Now I'm just going to repeat it. Nah, I'm going to look at, well, why did that happen? Why was, why were they doing that? You know, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to see whether I'm going to apply that or just kind of like toss that little life thing. I'm going to change that or toss it out the window. I pick and choose, like, what I'm going to do. I don't really, like, to be that type of person that's like, well, back in my day, this is what we did, and I'm going to continue on that. Nah, because that's how I get, that's how trauma continues. So let me just look and see why. And see what is a possible alternative that might yield to a certain, uh, I don't know what the future is, but maybe there could be a, another way of going about this. That's not going to cause as much damage based off of, how this, you know, individual thinks and acts and stuff. You know? I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but yeah. <laughs> June, Galaxy and Milky used to do that when... They used to do that too. They would jump directly on your stomach or on your chest. Why do cats do that? It's like soft and they just pounce on you. And it's like, you're killing me. <laughs> I had a cat named Shadow. It was, it was the best. My cat, it was the best cat. I think that's such a pretty name, Shadow. And Galaxy is very pretty. Galaxy and Milky Way. Milk, Milky, those are very pretty. OMG, hi. Hi, Omni. This is a great surprise. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I'm so used to people never wanting to know my day um, that when someone wants to know, I'm shocked. Exactly. Like, even with me, I'm still I'm still very much so. Like, have you ever gotten, like, when someone does ask you how how's your day or how are you doing do you ever get like that like voice that's like they want something why are they asking how your day is they want something tell them your day is bad so they don't have to ask for nothing <laughs> like i gotta work on my i gotta work on my defense mechanism <laughs> i know why those voices are there they're trying to protect myself but <laughs> i gotta work on not having such um a negative eye towards people you know not everybody is after something you know when people are asking, hey, how's your day? They might ask to just be like, hey, we just want to know how your day's been. They aren't probably looking for, hey, how's your day going so I can ask you for a favor. They might not be doing that, you know? 
And if they are, we know what's who to stay away from. <laughs> but we won't know, you know? But yeah, the twins, Jones, hello. Hi, it's you. Hi, twins. Hi, it's you. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Omni, exactly. It's better to teach your, your younger people with more kindness and compassion. Exactly. Not just parents, but mentors in general, like teachers, etc. Should try to be nicer to kids. They go through a lot. Exactly. Yep, highly suspicious. And I think a lot of people also, what I've been noticing is there's so many outlooks and so many different perspectives that it's hard for me to be like this. It's hard for me to just like not see from both perspectives or not to consider both perspectives perspectives because there's like for me there's two sides to every coin and how my brain thinks I think you know I don't think everyone is trying to go out of their way to be mean you know or to hurt just to hurt because usually like hurt people hurt people so usually they're doing that because of this it doesn't justify it but it's interesting it provides a lot of comic material which is why I like to ask questions because I'm like I could use this for a story eventually Why'd you do that? Why, why, why'd you do that? Oh, I'm gonna write that down for a character. But I'm very, I'm very detached from reality with comics. Your girl's going through it. <laughs> I've been in there, I'm going through it. So you don't, I, I don't have any life advice. I'm just kind of winging it. I just winging it. June, Nuki was the third and final name me. Oh, really? His original name was Crystal? Oh, that's cute. And he has a little mustache pattern. That's cute. Oh, I like that. I like that. I can't wait to get a cat one day. I just know it'll be the best day of my life. <laughs> yes. Generational trauma, yep. We as humans, we tend to... It's like, it's like you know, how, how elephants continue, like, know the herding path or, like, you know, the travel path. What's it called? Migration path. For some reason, this tends to be like something that happens with humans too. But instead, we know the the generational trauma path to where it's like we go this way because we've always gone this way. It's like, well, what about another way? Nope, we go this way because we have always gone this way. It got us to point A, which is we survived. And it's like, well, what's down over in that path? No, we don't go that path. We don't know that path. We go this path. And sometimes it's like, well, I want to try a different path. Because who set this path then? You know, just like for the elephants. Who first set that elephant's path? Do they, like, sit down and talk and be like, hey, let's let's see if there's another possible better outcome. Or do they just kind of, like, repeat? You know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, um, Mila had... Yeah? Was her first name Tuffy or Rosie? It was Tuffy. Yeah. Luna her Bear's first name was Tuffy. Tuffy. Yeah? It was Rosie. We went to Rosie. I thought we just stuck to Luna Bear. Uh, we had multiple names with her. We oh, we did. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry. We went to Rosie, um, to Luna, and then to Luna Bear. Ah, you have such a good memory. Mommy's memory is just like, poop poop shoo boop, <laughs> poop poop shoo boop. Hi, DJ. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Oni. I think also a lot of the times people just forget what it was like to be a kid. Yup. Yup. Trying to like. Our brains, I guess, have a way of closing off our memory from remembering that traumatic experience. Because it's like, yeah, you're, you're going to break if you remember that. So let's just close that off. So we tend to forget. And then we just, like, repeat whatever we, you know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. The human, no, nah, it's not. It's weird. It's interesting how the human mind works. It's interesting how the human mind works. Which is why I like making stories. Because while I don't understand social cues... It helps me to like understand people a little bit more on and why they do certain things not to justify it but just to understand cuz I'm nosy I want to know <laughs> I want to know why did you do that really oh, okay no judgment I just want to know all right I'm gonna put that in the story you gonna be alright with that <laughs> can't have some of my family members reading my story this is like you gonna have to be pretty cool with a couple of things pretty quickly if you want to read my comics and I definitely am like that, you know, of course you got that thing happening. It's like, oh, you can't read my comic no more because you're, 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 it's, this is, you're, you're just, give me the book. Give me back the book. <laughs> Omni. Like some issues have 
um, may seem insignificant with maturity and experience, but for kids, they aren't yet. Exactly. When you're going through it as a child, that's all you know. You've only been alive for like 11 years, 13 years. You haven't been alive for those extra plus years. So it's like you don't know all of the other stuff over here. It's like with babies. They get like, I'm going to die if you do not give me this milk right now. And it's like it's been five minutes. I'm going to die. You know, they aren't aware of anything past <laughs> that, you know? So, yeah. Don't, you know, get the baby their milk, I'm just saying. But, yeah. One person's spider web is another per person's home. And one person's home or chaos is another person's comfort. So, it's all relative. And it's all very valid. Why? Because their feelings are involved. And for me, I think feelings are very valid. Feelings are very valid. Let's see. So we should still acknowledge their issues and understand. Uh, social cues are hard. They are hard. <laughs> they are hard. <laughs> Some people never get uh, to experience being a kid. It's so sad. Yeah, that's why as an adult, I think it's good to help heal your inner child. I think it's good to help do the things that your younger you wanted to do. Hence my pink hair. <laughs> younger me is very happy right now. Hence me using whatever materials, tracing over 3D models to create my artwork. Because younger me is happy creating art in a way that makes her happy. You know? I'm letting my younger me be happy. But I'm glad a lot of people are ending generational traumas. Yep, it's a journey. I don't know how long it's going to take mine to end, but it's a journey. But I'm glad that I'm finally taking it, you know? And I'm embracing what makes me happy as opposed to embracing being a people pleaser and doing what other people would be like. No, this is what will make us happy. And like, well, I'm a person too. Can I make myself happy? And then, you know, once my cup is filled up, then I'll pour into your cup if I feel like it. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. I have a lot of hope for new generation and hopefully they will have they will have to go through a lot less trauma. I believe with every as time goes on, there's always progress. Something's always improving. I think it all depends on your outlook, you know? I know a lot of people are like, Oh, this generation, that's generation doom, but I think every generation has been saying that about every generation. But it's interesting because also there's also been people who have also been saying like the opposite of, Oh, this generation is so blessed, or oh, this generation is just getting better and better. So I think it depends on who you're surrounding yourself with and their outlook. You know? But I don't know. I just like to make comics. And I like to surround myself by people who are... Who are... Also having, like, a happy outlook, I guess? Because it helps me to have a happy outlook. Because I will go dark and negative very quickly. I have... I, I notice that that is my weakness. That is my defense mechanism. That is how I was able to survive. And my body, it's doing the best. My brain was doing the best that it could. So I will not shame myself for that. But now I, I can make adjustments. So we could do a little change in here. Let's do a little change in here, brain. We gotta be like that no more. Let's do this instead. Okay. Okay. Wow, it's sour. It's sour. Your pink hair is still awesome. Thank you, Omni. <laughs> Question, have you watched Princess Toot Toot? I watched a little bit of it. I watched a little bit of it. I didn't watch all of it, but I definitely did watch a little bit of it. <laughs> Do you enjoy Princess Toot Toot Twin? Do you enjoy it? June. For mine, I'm cutting off a majority of my family who has wished to get... Yeah, it's best to... For me... And I know with... It, you know, I don't have a lot of context of the situation and a lot of different situations. You know, you need the context or whatnot. But I like to see that you are doing what is good for your mental health. With the kind of con with the amount of context that I have, I'm glad to see that you are doing what is best for your mental health, June. I'm glad to see that you are doing what is best for you. You know? That makes me happy. That you are prioritizing your happiness. Okay? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oops, my music. Sometimes it pauses. I don't know why. June, you saw Princess Toot Toot? I haven't... I've only seen, like, a couple. Oh, it's 5.58. I gotta go at, like, 6.30, so I'm trying to get this done. But I've only seen, like, a couple of episodes. But it did look nice. It looked very pretty. 
this is going to be a curtain over here. It's going to be covered by a word balloon anyways, but... Excuse me, honey, hiccup. But yeah, that's that one. Me too! <laughs> I need to make some more emojis for you guys. Hopefully when I get everything done, I'll be able to like just sit down and draw some like little chaotic emojis for you guys to use in chat. I think that'll be fun. I don't know what that part of the thing is, so we'll just, that's good enough. I don't know if I'm gonna, it's taken me an hour just to do two panels. <laughs> a lot of people, they ask me, they're like, how long does it take you to draw? And it's like, it all depends. It took me two out. it took me an hour and six minutes to draw this. <laughs> so it all depends. I mean, I'm enjoying the process. Someone said, Sharon, you will watch it and, <laughs> and you will watch it as soon as possible. You thought I'm not gonna I'll watch a Dragon Ball Z because it's all Crunchyroll. Hey, it's all Crunchyroll. Hey, I'm so excited because it's all Crunchyroll. Woo! Oh, someone's laughing at his little ponytail on the top. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's Jay Hwan's at home attire. He's chilling at his house, <laughs> so he puts his hair up in a ponytail, or he'll let Oriana put his hair up in a ponytail <laughs> if she's like bored. And they're like, yeah, just put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> are those Oriana and Jehan? They are! It's for a super secret comic story pitch. It's not so super secret, but who the company... The company, it's super secret. Y'all don't know the company yet. It's not Webtoon or to pass, but y'all don't know the company yet. It's super secret because I don't know if I'm going to get a green light or red light. So that's why it's super secret for now. And until I get a yay or a nay, then I'll let you guys know. Then I'll let you guys know. But yeah... Hi, Sophie! Just got done with the work for the week. Congratulations! Good job! Oh, hail DBZ! I know! I love it so much! I love TN! TN was my favorite! When people had, at, like, when people asked me before, I'm like, oh, who's your favorite, like, anime character? It's like, I, I don't know. I don't think I really have a favorite. And then I remembered that I have totally forgotten about TN. TN is my favorite. I love TN. And I know he doesn't have a lot of scenes in Dragon Ball Z, but he had a lot in, like, the Dragon Ball. But I didn't love him because of the Dragon Ball 1 series. I loved him because of the Dragon Ball Z series. And it's funny because my husband is bald and kind of built like TN2. So it's like, girl, that just transferred right over, didn't it? Yeah. It sure did. But yes, TN, I love TN. TN and uh, Future Trunks. Specifically Future Trunks. Specifically Future Trunks. The other trunks, uh, but the future trunks, yep. Just like angry, angry eyes, but still kind. Just like Tian, just angry eyes, but still kind. But yeah, I'm so excited to watch it again. Um, I legit almost had a heart attack when my husband had told me, like, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, so I'm Crunch Girl. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, 12 year old me was like, oh my god! <laughs> You know, like that scene from Turning Red to where they were all like, all happy about um the boy band? That was me. Oh my god! Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> me and my brother, and well me, they're like brothers to me. Brothers from another mother or whatever. After church we would play Dragon Ball Z outside. And we would pretend like power up and like the wind would be flowing our hair or our braids or whatever. And we are like, ah! <laughs> It was so much fun. So it was just remembering that just ugh, just nostalgic, you know, just nostalgic. I'll one day nibble on your curly hair. That's this is synthetic. You can't be chewing on plastic. You can't be chewing on plastic if you don't watch Princess T. -t the more you tell me to watch it, the more I'm not gonna watch it. June, you should know this about me by now. You should know this about me by now. Reverse psychology, reverse psychology. That's what works best. That's what works best. Yusagi, hi! Hi, Yusagi! Hi, 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 hi! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Only! It's funny because today I was drawn Oriana and Jay Han fan. You were? Ooh! Oh. Husband's calling, hold on. Hold on a second, you guys. Hello? I thought we were leaving till seven. I 
Okay. All right. Well, then I'll go ahead and end the stream then. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want you to. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Then I'll. I'll end it in like fifteen or so minutes, and then get ready. Love you too. Bye. Okay, so bad news, you guys. Um, I thought I had more time, but I'm going to end up having to get off in like 15 minutes because my husband wants me to go to church with him. So, and there's like a church convention going on. So, in order to make sure we have seats, he wants to make sure we get there a little early. So, I'm going to end up getting off here soon, but I will hop on. Oh, my eye. <laughs> I will. I will hop on I have a straight here. I will hop on and do another live stream tomorrow because I have lots of comic pages to work on. So um I think tomorrow I'll do an eleven thirty five AM live stream. I think yeah. Try to do one in the early morning on YouTube and then I'll do probably I don't know if he's gonna want me to go to church with him tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'll do an early morning live stream on YouTube tomorrow. So we'll be back tomorrow morning to work on the next, well, to finish this comic page and then to work on the next ones. Is that okay, you guys? I'll let him know you said hi, Patrice. And Selena, no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I caught it anyways. Yo, I'm sorry, Obdi. I'm sorry, Yuzagi. There's churches he's like, this is them, them country churches, Yusaki. Them these country churches. <laughs> I'll be like, man, I want to go home. You know, praise Jesus and all that, but I want to go home. I want to watch some anime. I want to draw some handsome men. <laughs> Put my characters in different scenarios. Hallelujah and all that, but good golly. I'm, man, y'all got me all out here. I'm done with that lifestyle. I had to live with that lifestyle as a kid. And I'm like, this is overrated. I am not. I'm. I'm. I, I, this is overrated for me. I'm good. Can I go home? <laughs> but he, you know, he likes the company. He's that's his love language. Um, quality time. You know, so I want to show support. Even though my my love language is anime, <laughs> drawing drawing pictures on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. We work with it. You know, we work with it. I'm, I'm, my mother would be proud because, you know, she's just like, Shereen, you gotta cut her. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, uh. I get it. I get it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> they go for hours. I think any, any, just about anyone will, any southern one goes for hours it don't matter it don't matter which one but it's okay no worries i, I don't i don't like talking church on my stream because it's too personal he's too personal but it's okay but i will be back i will be back but we'll keep going we'll keep going <laughs> the server says we go for hours so you already know firsthand <laughs> did you say eleven thirty? yep so, 11.30 uh, Central um, AM. I'll try to put up um, a stream so that you guys can, like, have a reminder of it. I'll try to put that up for you guys if that's okay. What about a cute anime church <laughs> Y'all gonna min Y'all gonna blend the church in anime? <laughs> y'all so silly. Isn't there um, Blue Exorcist? That kind of has a blend of church, church and anime. <laughs> But yeah, I don't. I got too much church trauma, so I don't. I I don't really. I, that's why I don't really talk about it too much. It's just like I'm still healing from some stuff, so I don't want to go there. Just like I got other. I got lots of trauma for different things, but no worries, no worries. But yep, 11:30 a.m. We shall hop back on another stream, and we shall finish up this one. And then for this background, for this background, <laughs> for this, for this one. I don't think there's any backgrounds that we have to work on. But for the next comic page, because I have five I need to do all together. For the next comic page, I will be uh, showing more, like, my background process. 
Um, I already showed some of it on Twitch, but I want to show some of it on my YouTube channel as well. So, yeah. But, yeah. Let's go ahead. 11 a.m. is 4 p.m. Oh, wow. That's, like, over in England and stuff, right? <laughs> oh, so you get me. Thank you. Thank you, Omni. See, you guys get me. Thank you. I don't feel so alone. I don't feel so alone. You guys get me. I give hearts. I give hearts. Ooh. But okay. Okay. Oriana's mischievous expression. Yeah, you already see she's up to something. <laughs> but okay, you guys. Let's let's start saying, saying bye. Let's start saying bye. Say bye to me before I go. I can't just go without saying bye. Say bye to me. Say bye to me! Say bye to me! Bye! Say bye to me! Say bye! 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 It feels like you're saying I'm not saying senpai. I'm saying say bye. It sounds like They're just ignoring me though. You got oh no! There you go. Bye, Ovdi. Bye, chocolate. Bye, Usagi. Bye, Selena. Say bye to me. We'll miss you. Have fun. I'll miss you guys too. I'll miss you. Bye, Jude. I will miss you too. Bye, Patrice. I will miss you. <laughs> now I'm a thing about cute anime church. <laughs> Bye, Selena. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna look. Look, I got ending song. <laughs>